Good morning and happy Sabbath. My name is Sarah Walters and today I'll be doing the children's story. The children's story for today is called Purple Cloth. How many of you guys like the color purple? Purple was a very special color back in biblical times. Do you know who wore the color purple? Purple is usually reserved for royalty and people who were very wealthy. The book of Acts tells us a story about a woman whose job was selling purple cloth. Her name was Lydia. And because we know she sold purple cloth, we know that she was a wealthy woman. We also know she is a believer in God, because when we meet her, she is at a prayer meeting with Paul and Silas. Lydia heard a message that day in which Paul told these believers in God that they needed to also believe in God's son, Jesus. Paul told them that Jesus was a descendant of David and that God had raised him out of the grave to offer forgiveness of their sin. Lydia believed in Jesus that day and accepted him, and her whole house was saved. But Lydia's story doesn't end with her accepting Christ. Lydia invited the believers to come and meet in her house. In fact, scripture says she begged Paul and Silas to stay with her so she could take care of their needs. Later on in the same day, in the same chapter, we read that Paul and Silas were put in prison. As soon as they were released, Guess where they went? They went back to Lydia's house, where they were cared for once more. A lot of people think that becoming a Christian is all about what we call their personal walk, their relationship with Jesus. They think it's about Bible study, small groups, Sabbath school, quiet times, and prayer. It is about those things, but that's not all. Being a Christian means putting our faith into action the way Jesus, his disciples, the Apostle Paul, and Lydia did. Lydia didn't wait two or three years to start serving God. She didn't say, as soon as I get my walk with God straight, I will serve the Lord. She accepted the Lord and she immediately offered to God what she had, her home. Having a personal walk with Jesus is very important, but if we never open up our eyes to see others' needs, others' needs, if we never step out to take action and meet those needs, are we really acting like followers of Christ? Lydia reminds us that you don't need a lot of years walking with God to serve Him. You just need to be willing to take action. Have a happy Sabbath!